Yo, what's up guys? It's Yellowfin and I've got some exciting news. Well, actually it's not news. You guys kind of already know about this, but I'm going to be revealing some to, to you guys. I can't speak. Some PL21 European New Wave new cars. So I've got 20 here and I've got another pack with 20. So we've got a lot of stuff to get through. So let's just jump into one. This is my exclusive pack. So this one is exclusive to me. You guys know Mr. Big Shot here. Starting off with a Citroen Sea Cactus. 2007 honestly not much to say about it except for that 69 handling is actually pretty interesting for a 15 rq common 69 handling is decently high so it could be an interesting clubs car to look out for also if it's lightweight it might actually be pretty decent next card citron c3 also just kind of meh 66 handling so it's a bit lower than the previous citron 17 rq it kind of just looks cool though so i'd keep one but it's nothing too exciting we won't bore you with the commons, even though they are kind of cool, like this one. This is a cool common, Volvo 760 2.4D Estate. Nice little rear-wheel drive standard tire Volvo brick. That makes me really want to keep it. I do like the Volvo bricks. It's nice to see another Volvo brick added because we've only got two, I believe. The V70 Ultra Rare, and then there's the Super Rare one that I forgot the name of. But now we're getting another one, and a common one too, so a pretty easy one to collect. Next, we're going to Uncommon, which is this, the Skoda Citigo, which also confirms, even though we kind of already have Skoda confirmed with um, the previous cars in the live stream, because there was like a Skoda and um, some Volvos and stuff. So yeah, Skoda's confirmed, um, Volvo confirmed, and Citroen confirmed as three brands coming in the update. Skoda Citigo just kind of looks kind of meh. Nothing too special to say about it. Here is another new brand confirmed. Well, not new, actually. We have a lot of Fords, but... Honestly, Ford's one of those brands where they really could just honestly keep on revamping it and it won't get too boring because there's so many Fords out there. So like Ford Fiestas, we haven't gotten that many Fiestas besides like the original ones. So the Fiesta XR2i coming into the game is pretty interesting. 9.072, so its stats aren't crazy. We'll max out with 80 handling, but just another nice, interesting lower Q car to collect. That's kind of what these cars are that have been revealed so far. Just good lower Q cars to collect. Actually, how are the stats on that other Volvo? 12.268 actually might not be bad for a common. That could actually be a pretty good clubs car. But the rest of these so far are just kind of meh. Here's another Volvo brick, though. So we got two of them confirmed now, which is pretty cool. And then we'll move on to the next car, which is this, which actually looks like a pretty good one. Citroen Space Tour Hyphen. It seems pretty meh because of how slow it is, but four-wheel drive standard tires and 69 handling. 69 handling is actually pretty good for an RQ30 could actually have a bit of useful clubs use maybe even saving some low rq um saving some rq depends how lightweight it is it is a van so honestly i don't know next is this one this one actually does look good rear wheel drive standard tires skoda and yet coupe iv 80 8.276 handling that's pretty solid actually medium ground clearance i'd assume so it looks pretty good could be a pretty strong rare standard tire wet car RQ39 as well. Then, another brick. 7.770 Volvo V70. It doesn't have the greatest stats. Top speed, though, is pretty high for a front-wheel drive standard tires car. 7.70 to 60 also isn't too bad. But the 70 handling is kind of holding it back a little bit. But there is three Volvo bricks now, which is pretty cool. Then, super rare. And this is a interesting it's really just a specialist car a club's car front wheel drive all surf 7.072 similar to the volkswagen atlas but 2023 is cool and then here is a nice one the bizzarini 5300 gt strata i honestly don't know anything about this brand let me let me actually see if they got different cars or if this is their only car one one second i'm gonna do a quick little google and it is a tire no it's a tachometer Oh, no, they have, um, they have a few, a few cars. Okay, so we might be seeing some more Bizzarinis. Oh, the Kajara's cool looking. Okay, yeah, so there's other cool cars to be offered. Plus, this one's a cool looking one. 6.478, so pretty high handling for a 60s car. 161 top speed as well, and it's Italian. So, that's a pretty cool car as well. Then we got the Skoda Enya Coupe VRS IV 2022 four-wheel drive perps. I'd assume medium ground clearance. Another nice looking car. 79 handling also looks pretty solid. Could be a decent wet city streets type thing. So yeah, 
could have some interesting stats. Also, a lot of interesting amounts of countries. Italian, Sweden, Czech Republic. Um, do we have another one? France. Yep. So Italian, Sweden, Czech Republic, France. And then maybe we'll see some other countries too, but honestly, I'm not too sure. Here's another one. The Skoda Yeti. 2.0 TDI 4x4. Just kind of your generic run-of-the-mill 50RQ all-surface tires SUV. Then this, though, is a nice one. Citroen C2 Citroen Sport 5.9 81 front wheel drive probably will max out at like 4.890 which isn't too bad the Fiat's are better but this one's a lot higher RQ which makes you assume it has medium ground clearance so could be a pretty solid clubs car then with that medium ground clearance boost compared to the Fiat honestly definitely a car to look out for probably will be on my wish list when the update drops then this is also another very interesting one Volvo XC30 single motor, 4.90 to 60, I'd assume high ground clearance, 75 handling, rear wheel drive, standard tires, will be a very interesting one to collect, honestly, see how well it performs to the other standard tire cars, because it's got good 0 to 60, but a rather lacking amount of handling, could also be a specialist car, maybe a 332 for standard tire clubs, could be an interesting one for lower Q, then probably maxes out at like 4.0 at 332, so, yeah, pretty interesting car to think about. Will be interesting to see how that affects the current meta. Then, we go to Epic with the Volvo V60 T5 all-wheel drive. Honestly, its stats don't look anything crazy. Low handling, high 0-60. to 60. But then we have this one, which also has a very nice picture. I actually do really like the picture. Might honestly wishlist it for the picture. I don't really know much about all the cars. So, I don't really know how many cars we will be seeing. That'll be wishlist worthy. So this one might actually have contention for a wishlist spot just because of that picture. 5.675. I'm not too well versed in all surface tire four-wheel drive epic SUVs. I don't know how good that is. 75 handling is pretty meh though. 112 top speed is pretty low, which might make it a decent RQ saver though. But it's electric, so it might be heavy. Here's an interesting one. 5.575. Skoda Superb hatchback. It's not going to be like a Cadillac CT6 killer. Actually, its handling is rather low of 75. You'd think it would kind of have something more like 78 or 77, but no, 75, so kind of just your similar to like the Acura RLX Hybrid, I believe that's what it's called, or like your American, your Lincoln Continental, similar stats to sort of that. So kind of a more good meh-ish high tier epic, you know. Then this also, I was in the middle of talking and then I unpaused it, but the Radical SR3 XX, this is very interesting. Confirms Radicals coming, also confirms that we're getting British cars as well. Well, I guess the Ford kind of confirmed that too, I forgot to say that. 3.2 though, 97, slick tires, super lightweight. This will max out at 108 handling, yep, 108 handling maxed. Very, very good, this will be a very useful car. Super exciting to see what the other Radicals will be then that are added as well. And then the last car, another very nice one, is this. The Zenvo TSRS, 94 RQ, 2.70 to 60, 90 handling, 202 mile per hour top speed, and I, Denmark, that's the country, that's where the Zenvos are from, it's from Denmark, I believe, hopefully I didn't get that wrong, but yeah, Zenvo is also confirmed, well that was actually confirmed in the live stream, but we're getting some good high RQ ones too, like this one, RQ94, and that is it for the first video, yep, first video done, on to the second pack. Let's see what else we will be getting in store for this update. First one, a cool little collector car, the Citroen 2CV Sahara 4x4, four-wheel drive off-road tires. Honestly, might not even be a bad, like, snow slalom test type car, because it will be lightweight for common. We'll actually have to see how well that performs, because it's got four-wheel drive and off-road tires. Then, Citroen Bur Wow, they really clicked fast on that one. Citroen Berlingo. It's just another common to keep if you want to keep commons, which will be me. Then we got another brick, 12.768 RQ18 Volvo 740 2.4 Estate, nice looking car, beautiful picture as well with the ocean in the background. Then here's a Chinese car, which isn't part of Europe, that's part of Asia, but we have a Chinese car, the Citroen E Elise, 11.969, handling's not bad, but it's really slow to 60 and no top speed. Ford Capri 2.8 Injection, another Ford, also another Capri. We do have a few of those, or Capri. It might be Capri, actually. I think it's Ford Capri. My bad for my mispronunciation. But nice little lower Q performance tire car. Those are always good. 
Then another brick, the Volvo 940 Estate. Very cool. Glad to see we're getting a lot of those. There will probably also be like every single one imaginable when the update drops. It'll be interesting to see what the other YouTubers have too. If they've got any Volvo bricks in their packs. Let's go to Octavia, VRS Estate. Honestly, it just looks really meh. 8.10 to 60, 75 handling, performance tires. I feel like it should probably be maybe a uncommon or actually no because at 8.10 to 60 is slightly fast it's a little fast so maybe rare it's just going to be a very meh rare here then a also kind of meh car front wheel drive standard tires go to rapid space back nothing too exciting about that one volvo v50 d5 oh it's running away front wheel drive standard 7.772 nothing too crazy about it another volvo though here then rq40 skoda also don't have much to say about that. It's just kind of your generic run-of-the-mill super rare. Little dust collector. This, though, is an interesting one. Citroen Visa Trophy front-wheel drive off-road tires. 8.377. The super rare rally car meta is kind of coming back since all the previous ones like the Datsun and the Fiat Abarth and the everything else kind of moved to ultra rare. So we are getting some more lower RQ rally cars again, which is good to see because a lot of those did as previously mentioned, go to Ultra Rare. So yeah, nice little Citroen there. Excited to see that. Here is the Volvo S80 T6, 6.273. Seems pretty solid. Front wheel drive standard tires, kind of similar to that Mazda 6, I believe, that we got in the new update. The Asia Pacific Grand Prix update, that's no longer the new update. This is the new update. So looks like a pretty solid Super Rare. Then, another RQ50 Skoda. We had a previous one in the last pack, so... Seems like Skoda is getting a lot of the works, a lot of everything. Two RQ50s, both all-surface um, SUVs. Also then here, Volvo V50 SV. That's a pretty cool looking one, 5.580. So one to compete with the other ultra-rare Volvos we currently have. Will probably be better than all of them, I would believe. Yeah, it should be. This will be like 4.689, which is better than all the others. Then, this is an interesting one. Ford Ranger Raptor V6. 7.5, 74 handling. 74 handling is actually really good. That'll max out with 82, I believe. 82 and then like a 6 point something. 0 to 60. So this will actually be a very useful car. Definitely one to keep your eye out for. Might go on the wish list. Volvo S60 Cross Country T5 All-Wheel Drive. A four-wheel drive all-surface tire Volvo. That's RQ65. It probably will be fused if you don't want to keep it. This, though, should not be fused in any way. Citroen Xara kit car, front wheel drive, off-road tires, and an Epic is... No, we have one other front wheel drive off-road tire, Epic, which is that Opal. So this one has much better handling. The Opal maxes out at 95. This one should max out at 96 or 97 if you 2 through 3 it, which you really shouldn't because it's an off-road tire car. And then 5.10 to 60, which is also better than the Opal, I believe. The Opal maxes out at like 4.5. So yeah, we have a new best front wheel drive off-road tire car right here. The Citroen Xara kit car. So that's definitely one to look out for as well. Then right here, Volvo C40 Recharge Twin. A nice electric car. The electric cars do like to shuffle up the meta a bit. 4.30 to 673 handling. So the handling is pretty crap. But the 0 to 60 is actually really good. Could be interesting in a couple areas. Similar to that BMW iX we have. That's RQ78. This one's just a bit lower in RQ. And then Legendary is another Zenvo, the Zenvo TS1 GT. This one's slightly worse than the previous one we mentioned. And then the final legendary is going to be another Radical, the Radical SR3 RS, slick tires, 3.1, 96, 155 top speed, 90 RQ, lightweight. So that is it, 40 cars revealed, 40 cars to unpack. This probably means this update will be a pretty large one. I guess like in the 300s range, honestly, maybe 250s, something like that, because they've released a lot of cars already, they've revealed to us. So, yeah, could be a very exciting update. Lots of lower key stuff to collect, lots of interesting stuff to collect, also a lot of very meh stuff to collect, like that, that, um, that, yeah. Like all these rares kind of uh, are all pretty meh. So not, there's a lot of exciting and a lot of meh, but honestly, if you're a collector like me, I'm excited for all these. I want to collect all these cars. I want to see all these cars in my garage, especially these two. These two right here, the Zenvo and the Radical. 
both. I want to see both those in my garage. But that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, join the Discord, link in the description. I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching and goodbye.